Welcome to the Determined Mom Show, the only marketing podcast dedicated to guiding mom CEOs into tranquility, wealth, and multiplying those precious moments. Welcome to episode number 67 of the Determined Mom Show. Today, I want to talk to you about why I am making a decision to write a book, what the book is about, and just all of the details of the method that I'm going to be using to write the book. So I just finished my degree. I actually got my degree in the mail, not in the mail, in my email, and it is in the mail as we speak. I got my bachelor's degree in marketing management, and I've been finishing that for the last three years with a six-month break in there somewhere. So it took me about two and a half years. And I am just happy to be done with it. And I am looking forward to pursuing my master's degree, my MBA, probably next year in 2021. However, I already have this time built into my schedule where I use to study. So I would get up and get ready and come up to my office and study for an hour before I woke up the family. So I'm going to go ahead and convert that hour into something productive, something that I've always wanted to do, which is writing a book. The idea for my book has always been there, truthfully. My husband and I have a very, very, very complicated story, unlike any other couple that I know. And it is a very unique story with lots of ups and downs, very whirlwind, very roller coaster, very fairy tale slash with bits of nightmare rolled in there. (laughs) So I have always wanted to share our story and also be able to shed some light on something that people know very little about, but they're very opinionated about. So I am going to be writing about what it is like to be married to an illegal alien. Um, My husband is quote unquote illegal. He's not really an illegal person because that's not how it works. People cannot be illegal. But I wanted to really shed some light on what our family has been through, what my husband and I have been through from the beginning all the way up until now and the struggles that we still go through every single day in just everything that we do because of this situation. It's definitely not a cakewalk like so many think. He doesn't get all of the benefits that everybody thinks. And there's so many more complications and layers to our story and his story that need to be told and they need to be told from an inside perspective. So that way people can really understand what's going on. I was recently a guest on two different podcasts. One is Coach Tia's podcast, which is called Family Seasons by Coach Tia. And on that podcast, I actually discussed and opened up about being a fatherless daughter and that complicated relationship that I have with both my mom, my dad, my stepdad, all of those things. And it really released a lot of pent up negativity and energy that I had been holding on to just by only sharing these things with my counselor and my husband. And it really allowed me to expand how I felt and my just overall well-being. And I also had an opportunity recently to be on the Boss Ladies and Babies podcast um, with Mickey and Megan. And they are hilarious, by the way, and I love them. So I actually talked about what we're currently going through on that podcast with my family A lot of my family is unknowingly racist, they say. However, I don't believe that you can not know (laughs) that you're racist in some ways, because if someone is literally telling you that you're racist and that the things that you're doing are hurting your family members, I don't see how that can be qualified as not knowing that you're racist because somebody has already told you. So I have explored that story on the Boss Ladies and Babies podcast and the complicated relationship that I have with my family and my friends and everything like that. So that is on um, the Boss Ladies and Babies podcast. And it really also gave me another opportunity to kind of bring up all of those feelings and bring up, you know, what I'm dealing with. And also on Instagram, I realized yesterday that so So many people wanted to listen to that because it's definitely a story that needs to be told. There's a different end of it. And coming from a family that is basically rooted in racism, just based on their location and their values and morals and all of those things, and marrying an African immigrant who entered the country in the inappropriate way and dealing with those ramifications, I really need to tell 
the story of what has happened to us over the last, well, for my husband, it's been 22 years, but for me, it's only been about 12 years. So just sharing those stories, actually 13 years. So just sharing that story and really allowing everyone inside view of what it's like in our family, what it's like in our daily life and all of the things that we've had to go through to get to where we are and where we want to go. So all of those things are absolutely insane (laughs) when you actually listen to it. So that is what has inspired me to open up and be willing to talk about it and willing to really discuss this in a format that is a public format and all of the things. So another portion of it is how it affects our children, our family, both of our families, and extended family and all of those things. So the method that I've decided to use is from Chandler Bolt, and it is based on his book called Published. In this book, he lays out a way to write a book in 30 days and then work on the editing in the next 30 days and the publishing in the next 30 days. So within 90 days, you have your book published, self-published, I should say, on Amazon and you have a team behind you and everything is really laid out in this book. And I really like the method because that's how my brain works. Like I need everything laid out and I need to know exactly what I'm getting into and how to do it and all of those things. So I'm really excited about that part. I already have my outline, my chapters laid out, and I am going to start actually writing tomorrow morning, which is exciting. And I could not decide what to talk about on this episode of the podcast because I don't have a lot going on in my business right now as far as like promotions or anything like that other than the fact that I always have online marketing for moms open for enrollment and my Google My Business course. All of those things are always available. However, I don't have anything that I'm really promoting right now. So I was like, what am I going to talk about? I haven't gotten any new tools recently that really piqued my interest. But then I thought, Other people may be on that fence about writing a book and they may have a really inspiring or, I don't know, curious story to share, or maybe they've always wanted to write a fiction novel. So I just wanted to share this one to hold myself accountable uh, because in three months, you should be hearing me talk about the release of my book. And two, to really hopefully inspire you if this is something that you've always wanted to do to not put it off because there are methods out there that can make it really easy for you to follow along and to get it done and just get out your thoughts and your words and all of that so that way people can hear and listen to your story or your you know instruction or whatever it is that you're trying to share so I hope that helps you and I hope it inspires you. And I hope that when my book does come out, that you will read it or share it with your friends, family, um, whomever, because it is going to be pretty shocking and pretty revealing. So looking forward to getting it completed. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have an amazing week. Stay tuned for next week's episode with Veronica Romney on how to create connection through customers' aspirations. This episode of the Determined Mom Show is brought to you by Online Marketing for Moms, the only marketing membership created especially to teach mom business owners SEO and many other marketing tools, systems, and strategies. Join today at onlinemarketingformoms.com. Use code PODCAST to get 20% off of your monthly or annual membership.